The concept that we saw in the previous lesson holds perfectly true for corporate borrowers as well. The main difference is that some corporations have access to more sophisticated loan forms, such as syndicated loans, mezzanine loans, convertible loans, and bonds. Regardless of that, the interest rate is determined by the same parameters. Earning potential, quality of assets, guarantees in the form of mortgages, pledges on shares, other assets, etc., liquidity, credit history, and industry of operation. Some corporate loans involve a great deal of insecurity and risk. Startups, growth and distressed firms seek loans at the so-called high-yield debt markets, where interest rates could be as high as 15% per year. The high interest rate makes it possible for such loans to exist, because even though the number of defaulting positions is substantial, the financiers are able to make up for it by charging more. A corporate borrower that wants to improve its interest rate should present a strong case for it. The company should explain to its lenders that it has solid plans for the future, that its assets are valuable and in good health, that it will provide sufficient guarantees to the bank, and that it has sufficient liquidity that would allow it to continue to operate normally. If the firm manages to convince the bank managers about these aspects, it will be able to get a lower interest rate than its peers.